Hello ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify and today we have the new Slicer Glove! 22,000 slaps is the requirement to be able to use this glove. It has 55 power, the speed is 17, and the ability is to slice. Oh my god, they, that ability is wild. Oh, that ability is crazy! Yeah, I like how it travels for a while, that's pretty cool. Oh, they collided! What? They can collide? That's sick! You can do two? The more kills you get, the more slicer blades you throw. Oh, the hitboxes on this. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of large. <laughs> I don't know if the new dev worked on it. If so, it kind of aligns in with the last time he was working and he had large hitboxes for Kraken. Of course, let's start with some counters. Obviously, diamond and or any of the rocks, like custom or mega rock, are absolutely gonna work against this ability. They're gonna be top counters, just due to the fact that you're in a rock, you're not gonna get hit. That was funny to see. When those things collide, that is a really cool effect. Yeah, when you're in a rock, you're safe. I wouldn't use diamond that much because, again, once you get out of it, you are slowed for a while, so it's not really worth it in the long run. But any of the rocks are going to do very well for you. Can you use the flash glove to kind of speed past it through it or whatever? Let's check this out. So if it is casted at you... E. Okay, so you can go forward, you can dodge it, you can make it like an after effect. The flash is going to be like a little delayed compared to most if he's close. From a farther away distance, you might be able to get it a lot easier, but like an up close flash battle, not really the best. Hopefully, we'll see. So it kind of lasted. Oh, that still got me. But yeah, I don't know if Flash works. After seeing that just now, what we just saw on the screen, yeah, Flash definitely no works. Can you use Spring to hop over? So from a distance, Spring can be good. But I believe if you are being targeted, it might not matter. Oh, I tried to hop over that one. Yeah, Spring might not be the option. If they want you, they're gonna get you. So I definitely would not go for Spring. Swapper, can you swap the user into their own nit? I think so. Oh no, I guess not. Oh, see, it still got me. I don't like Swapper with this. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even use Ghost against these people. You can surprise them with a slap, but at the same time, they have an ability, and the ability expands in a long way. So Ghost, it does work, but not my suggestion. Thanos, to save you from falling off the edge, for sure. So all you need to do is just go over, set your I'll be back, and then once you get hit off the edge by whichever one of these... Oh my god, there's a lot of those. So if you get hit off the edge, just Thanos it back up, and now you are safe, and you can go back to hitting. Thanos, I can definitely see being a pretty good counter. The one problem with it is the time reversal has such a long delay before you can get it back. You're not going to have it in time if you're sitting there fighting dead on somebody who is fighting you. So keep that in mind. Thanos is good, it's not the best. You can use space to become an object way up in the sky, and that's pretty untouchable. Which you can absolutely, as soon as you get into the ring, just pop your ability. That's what you can hop over any of the rings, and you can chase down and land on whoever you want to attack and just bap them up the one thing with space though is as good as it is for it to be able to fly up in the air the one downside it takes a long time for the zero g ability to actually get done so it's not viable in that sense as the ability is going to take way too long to actually proc so space good but just takes too long you could absolutely use dream to avoid and run faster if they're a little bit of a distance away from you if they're up close to you i feel like it's going to be really hard to avoid but if you're a distance away you can actually avoid them pretty well up close definitely not but far away yeah i think you can actually run around so dream is it's another meh one it's not good it's not bad it's just kind of meh does golden's ability save you from being hit i would assume so oh yeah golden absolutely stops them so golden's ability will definitely work it is a counter is it the best absolutely not because it takes so long to get and it takes so long to get back <laughs> you could absolutely use cheeky for the reduced knockback i already know that this is going to be a great counter because the ability hits for quite a bit but most of the damage is in the ragdoll so if you are a big old cheeky monster i feel like you're going to take a lot of reduced knockback are we looking ready oh yeah fantastic knockback reducer as soon as you get hit Look at this, just move forward, you're fine. So Cheeky is definitely a great counter that I would suggest going after for a reduced knockback. Defense doesn't work, I already know it goes through a defense wall. Let's just show you just in case. Yeah. You're not safe in defense. Don't do it. The reverse glove. I'm absolutely thinking this is going to be a good one. Uh, I think it'll give the exact same thing that the Kraken did. Uh, it'll slap the user that casted it. Oh, whoa, does reverse not work? 
Yo, reverse doesn't work. Reverse isn't a counter. What? In kind of like a shocking effect, reverse doesn't counter. That right there surprises me a lot. So moving on to Shikuchi. Will Shikuchi actually counter? What it will do is if somebody casts it out, you can get into an animation where you're not going to get slapped. Now, if there's other people around, most likely they're going to camp you and they're going to wait for you to end your slap. But this can be a counter itself because you're not going to be able to be hit. Yes, so as soon as they cast it out, just hit the Shikuchi, and you have that counter right there. It's gonna take a while for you to get your Shikuchi back. It works, but I feel like there's better. Adios is gonna be like Thanos. Yeah, see, I like Adios, but at the same time, oh hey, <laughs> spawned right in front of that hit. I like the Adios, but at the same time, it takes so incredibly long to actually use. I kind of like Thanos over Adios for this specific one. They're kind of the same though, and they're both kind of like 50-50 gloves that, you know. On to blocked, I'm anticipating that the ability is going to be able to bypass the block. Oh, it saves you from the ability, interesting, okay. Oh, that is interesting. So blocked absolutely works. If you do have a goober that is targeting you, a single goober, I should say, then blocked will absolutely work for you. But if it's multiple goobers targeting you, blocked might not be the option. I'm thinking buddies is going to be your option in the end here. You could use phantom for the movement speed on trying to avoid things. But again, phantom's not going to be a good option. You're going to end up dying in the later run. You could always track and table flip them, but I think that's a losing battle for you as their slice is a lot faster and can get you a lot more than the track or the table flip. Shield. Now let's see if we can actually survive a hit with shield and not have it hit us with knockback first. I have no idea if it works or not, but oh, nope. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it does not. Shield is not the counter. Ping pong's like table flip and track. You could throw a ping pong ball at them to keep them away from you. Long term, is it going to be valuable? No. So the whirlwind glove is going to give you a reduced knockback compared to a slicer hit, but at the same time, it's not a long term solution. Don't go for whirlwind. You could always slicer battle another user, slicer v slicer, and just duke it out to see who is the better slicer. <laughs> You could, of course, have God's Hands time stop and stop time and go after the slicer. One shots if you can get close to them. Yeah, that'll kill them. Acrobat could actually be pretty good here because if they're from a distance away, you could time it out really well. Well, when you don't hop into another user that's using it. <laughs> but you can avoid these users and you can jump to the side. Still makes this kind of like a 50-50 because if they're up close, you're getting hit. Hey! But it can get you out of the way. Whoa. <laughs> it can get you out of the way if you are fast enough. So, Acrobat, it's like a 50-50. Phase, now I'm anticipating Phase to be the best counter for this so far. It's Phase. There's not much else to say other than it's Phase. <laughs> you know, you're going right through it. You're not going to get hit. That's the catchphrase for Phase. It's Phase. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you could bomb bubble jet shard and bob them to keep them away from you. Long-term solution, absolutely not. Buddies, no, I was thinking buddies is probably going to be the best counter for this glove out there. Why is that? It's because you can have multiple people hit, and when you have multiple people, they still can't hit you with the ability, which is perfect. And they can throw all the sizes at you, the slices at you, and you can't be hit. So absolutely, buddies is a fantastic counter for this. You can remain safe. And it's always funny, you can always tell how many kills a slice has because how many slices they actually throw. I don't even know why I got hit by there. <laughs> you could absolutely use Jupiter to have reduced knockback on a slicer hit. Is it going to be a great counter? No. <laughs> Is it going to save you knockback? Yes. You could use hybrid speed and jumping to kind of try to avoid things, but they're going to catch you off guard most of the time with hybrids, so I wouldn't even try to rock hybrid. Slapple. Now, the thing with Slapple is, can you avoid being hit below by jumping up in the air in the tree? And I would assume yes, but my other question is, can they jump up in the air, and while in the air, can they actually throw it? That's what I want to know, because regular the base throws absolutely not you're safe but can they jump up and do it they tried he tried oh i got hit <laughs> in an odd fashion you do get hit with some weird ways i don't know exactly how sometimes i've seen really broken hitboxes with the slicer glove but you can definitely outrun this but that person just get hit by it has a little bit of a slower I don't even know how I just got hit there. Like, people get hit when there's nothing there. It's like part of the box for the hitbox is getting stuck behind in some way, shape, or form. For the time being, you could definitely stay in a tree with Slapple, but there's the off chance that a hitbox bug will hit you. Just keep that in mind. You can always disarm them before, but we're not looking for befores. Dominance to get a speed boost to kind of move around and not get hit kind of works. Not long-term solution, though. You could always charge to get around and not get hit, but it's going to take a while for you to get your charge ability. Also, if they cast it to you up close, it's it's not gonna work but yeah you can absolutely get around with charge casts it and get around 
and go all the way over to the other side so that you're not gonna get hit. I don't see charge being that really worth it, you know? An upgraded tycoon with speed could avoid them, but not the best solution. Elude! Okay, so now the big question for elude is can it actually dodge an ability and not just the slap? It'll absolutely dodge the slap, but we wanna know will it dodge an ability? And it will, it absolutely will. Elude is a top counter. Yeah, you can absolutely sit here in the middle, get hit by these things. Ooh, so if they do the thing where the abilities collide together from two people, you take the explosion knockback. But if you are actually just getting hit by one person, you, like we just saw, will get teleported. If it's multiple and they collide while throwing it, then no, you're not gonna be safe. So be warned for that. Elude a top counter in my book for sure. So fish is absolutely a counter. Going off the edge, <laughs> e-button go crazy. There we go, and we fly back in. Wowie, fishy, so crazy, right? <laughs> you can build an obby to go over all the regular hits below. You just have to make sure they can't come up to you. But yeah, obby is definitely a counter. But I can't do an obby with everybody here. I'm going to get smacked off. I ain't even going to try it. <laughs> so voodoo. Will the slicer hit a voodoo doll? And see. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So I think it does hit. You have to use our leash beforehand. I don't think that they can do any abilities. But let's test to make sure that if you have one of these people on a leash, are you in danger? Oh, so I think they still can use the ability. Oh, they can. So if there's anybody else on them, like if you're pulling anybody else and there's a slicer, they can save the other people around them. They are not going to be able to save themselves. So it's not like a full counter. But if there's a group of people and they're in that group, they can definitely save them because of the slicer ability. You could use kinetic for the one time knockback blast, but it takes you so long to get your kinetic blast back. By the time the slicer user has their ability, you're not ready for it. And you're going to get hit off. So kinetic, not worth. So for the boogie glove, they're not going to be able to cast their ability, but from the outside, they're going to be able to cast it in. So I would not use boogie. You can place down a boogie and remove their glove and they can't do anything. So in that sense, it works. But it's not something that's like foolproof because if you place it down and somebody's on the outside, they're going to throw a slicer at you and it's GG's. You can absolutely use recall to save yourself from falling off the edge. This is a fantastic save glove. This will kind of save most things that aren't one shot. So for Psycho, can you be hit while in the flying ability? While standing, yes, you can absolutely be hit. What I want to know is if you are flying in midair towards them, are you going to be hit? Let's check it. No, you are not going to be hit while in midair flying at these things. So this could be an absolute counter. If you time it right, all you're going to have to do is just fly away. Or all you're going to have to do is just fly towards it and you are safe. Telekinesis will definitely save you. So Psycho is absolutely a counter. I will 100% recommend using a Psycho. Use Kraken as a distance fight. That's just kind of like Slicer v Slicer in a way. But I want to say less effective. Shout out to both Knee Curls and Omar. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed yourself. It's pretty crazy there's not that many counters to this glove this time i'm very shocked about the reverse glove is there a glove that has you shocked like is the reverse glove shocking to you it probably is to be honest with you other than that enjoy this glove if you don't have 22k go grind it this glove is crazy insane right now hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this and i shall see you in the next one later you can't even see me wave <laughs>